Now this G20 is not limited to an exclusive diplomatic exercise. It has become a people's movement. And in that people's movement, I would say that uh, the engagement groups which are there, like Labour 20, Civil 20, Women 20, Youth 20, all these have spread the message of the G20 far and wide in the entire country. One. Second thing, in the various topics that we discuss, this year we contributed and we suggested it and it was added in the disaster risk reduction, which is a major problem that the world is facing. The most important issues, which are the global issues, from energy to uh, food security uh, to climate to uh, women empowerment to trade, there is a growing and strong consensus, which is the most important part of the G20. Uh, everybody has been talking about the, the Egypt, Indian's agenda, actually in respect of uh, the debt burden, climate, uh, inclusion, and so on. So I think and I hope that uh, there will be a coalition uh, that will coalesce into uh, a situation where we can be able to ex uh, have some outcomes from this uh, G20 summit. We're discussing how we were going to to work and we decided to support totally India, Indian proposals. So we are moving with India. We'll continue to pursue the interest of the global south and as emerging market economies I think we need to make sure that the world is a much better place for everyone including the global south.